Hello everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase and today we've got a very niche custom because I think perhaps only a few people are even aware of this as a look for the Doctor. Um, now this is the 11th Doctor obviously but this is based on the Stranger in the Outlands short story from Tales of Trenzalor, the 11th Doctor's Last Stand and yes I had to read that out. <laughs> um, so in this story the 11th Doctor, prior to Clara's initial first return in uh, Time of the Doctor, I know I'm going to say Name of the Doctor at some point, but I mean Time, uh, I always get those two confused. Um, uh, prior to Clara's initial return in Time of the Doctor, he goes into the Outlands on Trenzalore, um, because obviously this is when he is protecting the, uh, protecting the, the planet for, you know, 600 odd years or however long it was. Um, he goes into the Outlands to deal with a Nestine uh, invasion, uh, Auton invasion, and the Outlands are very cold on Trenzalore, so he dons the Second Doctor's fur coat. Now, that's where this look has come from, and it's a, it's a really interesting look, I think, but this is actually a very large mishmash of parts, despite it seemingly only having sort of two Doctors involved. So going from the legs up, the legs are from a Series 6 bearded 11th Doctor, obviously been repainted. The torso, coat and arms are from the Abominable Snowman 2nd Doctor, but in order to fit, uh, to give him the right height uh, to be in scale with the other 11th Doctors, I've added a good sort of half an inch chunk of milliput between the torso and the legs, so there's no waist swivel anymore, but it does mean that he's got the right height needed. And then I have also repainted the shirt and bow tie to match his um, sort of uh, outfit and shirt that he wears uh, on Trenzalore in Time of the Doctor. And then the head sculpt is a aged or ancient, however you want to say it, um, 11th Doctor from the Time of the Doctor set, but I have trimmed off all of his sort of white swept back hair and I have added on in its place the hair from the bearded 11th Doctor figure from series 6 where the legs have also come from because when I looked at the sort of the time of the Doctor bit where Clara comes back his hair has sort of started to get a little bit longer and I figured that you know it obviously is longer by the time he gets uh, by the time he's sort of aged and Clara sees him the second time so I thought I'd just add that in to make it a little bit more different um, just to give his hair a little bit more of a, a different look to it and then obviously I've also repainted the uh, hair to have that sort of slightly greyer look um, not quite completely white and there's still the um, there's still the brown underneath it, but it just, again, makes him look that little bit more grey, that little bit more older. And then for authenticity of uh, authenticity as well, I've also given, given him back his walking stick, because the other thing which some people may not know, a little bit of trivia here for you, is um, I think it is in the Dreaming uh, story from the book of uh, the Tales of Trenzalore, uh, reveals that the Doctor actually lost his leg in a, um, in a uh, battle with, I think it was a Mara, or it was some sort of, I think it was called a Tsunami Snake. Um, now, that little bit of narrative was actually born from the idea that the 11th Doctor would lose his leg in a battle with the Weeping Angels, which was either rumoured to happen during Time of the Doctor, or was written in, but then written out because it was considered uh, it wasn't needed. However, um, it's... In universe, the reason he walks with the walking stick out of universe, it's because Matt Smith had knee surgery, so they had to give him the walking stick. But I decided to put the walking stick back in here because at this point he would have it, and I had one spare, so I figured um, why not. But yeah, as a as a custom, as I said, it's a very niche one, but it's it's a nice one because it's so it's so niche. It's a really unique look, and yet when you see it like this it really does look like something that we could have seen the Doctor wearing on Trenzalore. You know, if they'd ever done, if they'd ever done a sort of Tales from Trenzalore uh, TV mini-series or something, which I think would be amazing to see, um, I can totally see him wearing something like this. It really does look the part, and it's just something which... It's nice to see the fur coat um, 
you know, popping up on other things, because obviously we've had it in the Abominable Snowman set. Uh, as far as we're aware, we're not going to get a Five Doctors variant. I think it's a bit of a shame. Personally, I would love to see it, but, uh, you know, there you go. But, yeah, as a, as a figure, it's a really nice sort of extra one to put in there. It really does look, um, it really does look great, and I'm really pleased with how it's come out. Um, you know, I know I say that every time, but this is one of those ones that, when I was putting it together, there was... You know, I was wondering whether it was really going to work or not, but it, it really has. It's really paid off, and I'm, I'm really, really sort of proud of this one. Uh, but that brings to a close another custom figure showcase. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, for subscribe, share. It really helps me out a lot. And the description below for a link to my Patreon. I am still doing my figure animation. There is still an update coming on it. But in the meantime, all of your donations are greatly received. And for the smallest donation, you can get your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.